Hello guys, may peace be upon you all. Uh, today's video I want to touch up a little bit about the SBA uh, EIDL targeted uh, grant and also SBA EIDL 24 months capital uh, loan. Uh, I want to tell you guys, stop waiting for the SBA to come back at you uh, with an email. Uh, you can directly email them and uh, one of those emails, uh, you can use uh, the reconsideration emails, uh, reevaluation re emails, or something like that. Uh, you can find those email addresses uh, on the SBA um, page, you know, on their website. Uh, but uh, what you can do is you can be straightforward with them, you know, and uh, express your feelings about the entire process. Uh, see, if, if if you feel that you're being discriminated, we can tell them that. Um, that's actually what I did uh, because because I got denied for, uh, I got declined for the EIDL targeted. You know, they go by that nonsense, low income BS, whatever it is. And uh, I did email, I was thinking about it, should I send them an email or not? And then I finally, uh, you know, thought to myself, I will, why not? So uh, on the 19th of April, no, 19th of May, May 19th, I emailed them, um, telling them that uh, how I strongly believe that the SBA is uh, uh, very uh, discriminating, you know, towards uh, the small business owners and uh, that, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the correct way to go, uh, you know, Especially on a, on, a, on a thing like on times like this when we really need capital in order to survive, uh, you know, uh, or keep up with our uh, business, small business, that whatever we're, we're doing. And uh, I sent the email, I sent the email on the 19th. Strangely, they got back to me on the 21st uh, asking me for some documents. So um, I sent them the documents. Um, on the 21st, right away, I sent them the documents. They, pretty much what they were asking was, uh, they were uh, asking about uh, proof of my company, my ID, front and back, and uh, a voided check. And that, that was it. So, on the 21st, I sent it, and then on the 26th, they got back to me. They said that I'm approved. Strangely, when I type in, when I go to their website, when I go to their website, uh, when I type in the full, the full address, you know, just a little tiny spot, it's not falling under that, you know, uh, low income area. And that tiny spot happened to be my business. Um, but when you type in the zip code the entire zip code you know it's 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 in like a purple area so when i emailed them you know i i i i went i told them that the zip code x number whatever you know on your map shows that it's in low income area i don't know why i might be denied anyway they approved me for that uh also they uh they sent me an email for that loan increase but i did not take it uh because there's uh for whatever reason, they're like uh, interest and stuff like that. So I didn't, I didn't take that. But uh, they approved me for that as well. I, didn't, I, I ended up not taking that. But uh, I just wanted to let you know about this. If you think to email them, just email them and express your feelings. You know, you got nothing to lose. If you're declined, well, the worst, the worst thing is they're gonna decline you again. So just email them, uh, express your feelings, tell them whatever you feel like. You know, and you just never know. Uh, Maybe the email will go to the right agent, the right person, and there we go. You know, it will prove you. So that's all. I don't want to uh, stretch this uh, video too long. I want to keep it under five minutes. So thank you for watching again. Uh, God bless you, and stay positive. Peace be upon you all.